Hello, Phil here from Wings of Pegasus and welcome to another analysis video. On the agenda tonight we have Glenn Campbell and this is going to be a performance of Gentle on My Mind and this is coming from a TNN special over in the USA. So it's just a show where they got together about 30 of the great country players and the legends of the time. So one thing to look out here before I actually start it is they're kind of chatting and they throw it over to Glenn and he starts up into the the track and keep an eye on the banjo in the background just to get an appreciation of the level of professionalism within the band and how quickly they pick up on Glenn's playing and getting straight into the groove of the track and up to tempo it's really impressive and one of those things that you miss if you're watching like you're just watching a show have a look at how quick the band get in on this performance but let's get it up on screen and see how he gets on uh, well, do it the way you did. Okay. It's knowing that your door is always open and your path is free to walk. Yeah! Thank you. That makes me tend to leave my sleeping bag rolled up and stashed behind your couch. And it's knowing I'm not shackled by well, forgotten words and bonds and ink stains that have dried up on some line. That keeps you in the back roads by the rivers of my memory It keeps you ever gentle on my mind And it's not clinging to the rocks and ivy planted on their columns now that binds me Or something that somebody said because they thought we fit together walking It's just knowing that the world will not be cursing or forgiving When I walk along some railroad track and find That you're moving on the back roads by the rivers of my memory And for hours you're just gentle on my mind I'll play one I'm just going to stop it there because what people forget is that musicians and great guitarists love to hear great music as well. So even though Glenn's sitting here and performing effectively to other greats of the time, other great country players, you can see here, stopped at exactly where we're looking at Willie Nelson. But these guys, they appreciate good music and there's nothing better than watching a great guitarist or a great musician, watching somebody else and really getting a kick out of what that other person's doing. And this is what this show was all about. I didn't see the whole thing. I can only watch it on YouTube but just the appreciation of the music among these great musicians is great to watch like I mentioned at the beginning see how quickly they're up into this tune and the fact that Glenn's vocal comes in instantaneously there's no long drawn out intro where the rest of the band can start to get the groove and find where they are in the track and kind of gently work their way into it it's straight in so just being able to pick it up that quickly is so cool and so impressive um, we also saw Roy Clark there whose face I just love his face he's just taken in by the music and the sound and what I love about Glenn's style is he's a storyteller and in the songs every lyric has a meaning so many times you find bands that have songs and then you break down their lyrics and there's a few lines that just don't make any sense and they just picked a word that rhymed with the previous word and it wasn't a story whereas the way that Glenn writes and he delivers lines he makes you interested in the story of the song which is such a rare thing to be listening to a story sometimes you're just impressed by the fact that there's so much great playing going on whereas here because of Glenn and the way that he delivers the lines it means that you're concentrating on the song and not the technical stuff that's going on and let me assure you there's plenty of technical stuff going on here Glenn throwing in that hybrid picking technique really accomplished that country style of playing and we're just about to get into Glenn's solo here so he's just going to go on a bit of a walk with the solo section and then we'll have a little analysis of it afterwards
my cup of soup back from the Kirkland crack. And I love that. Willie's like, yeah, that was that was cool. There's so much technique in there. But the great thing about Glenn is he writes his solos with such melody that it's like a journey within the song. I always say this about the best players is that they can take you on a journey just within their solo. And Glenn plays over the chords. He follows that progression so that everything that he's playing is always going to sound different. Sometimes players always stick to one shape or a pentatonic shape, a major pentatonic or a minor pentatonic, and they don't really venture around the shapes of the chords that are being played underneath in terms of the progression. Whereas Glenn has got that knowledge and he's got that ability to follow the chords around the fretboard and play in those separate keys so that he can then build that journey and change it whenever he wants to. Sure, he can always go back to the foundation in terms of that original key and just play in a standard shape that's rooted in that key but he loves to follow those chords and that's what gives it such a great sound and makes it so interesting and there's so much great technique going on in there hammer-ons pull-offs tiny little bits of alternate picking as well just to make those notes stand out and this is what a lot of country players do and folk players is they've actually got great technique because they have to it's an absolute necessity for playing lead guitar on an acoustic guitar or semi-acoustic, electroacoustic here, that sound is just going to die. As soon as you hit your string, you pick that string, you haven't got the luxury of sustain that you'd get on an electric guitar. You have to make every one of these notes count. So when you're playing any sustained run or any sustained line, like Glenn is throughout this whole solo, you've got to be picking all the time. So you've really got to be up with your alternate picking and keeping up with that left hand, making sure that you are getting the clarity of each one of these notes. You're constantly having to pick. Again, Glenn does it here so seamlessly, you're not aware that it's really going on. But just watch that right hand and see how busy it is in order to get every one of those notes to punctuate and really stand out. So really deceptive solo there because there is so much that goes into it. You can imagine anyone that plays at home if you've got an acoustic guitar, try and play a long run on acoustic with just hammer-ons and pull-offs, you're always going to lose a little bit of that volume, of that impact after that first pick. So that's why you'll find that you have to alternate pick or you have to pick at least every other note just to make it stand out. And that's what these guys are so great at is doing that and you totally not being aware of it because you're listening to how well that melody is coming across because it's so well written as well. Don't let that fly under the radar. You can watch that solo again. Just look at the right hand, how busy it is to make everything really nice and clear get that clarity on the lead is really impressive cauldron in some train yard with my beard a roughening coal piled and a dirty hat pulled low across my face through cup cans round the tin can I pretend to hold you to my breast and find Daddy, you're waving from the back roads by the rivers of my memory Ever smiling, ever gentle on my mind And everybody here, you're gentle on my mind Oh, thank y'all What a great performance that is, considering that it's just been thrown over to him and the band gets straight in there and Glenn's relaxed vocal. This is the very definition for me of easy listening. It's just one of those tracks that you just get pulled into and you just listen to the lyrics and you're not aware of all the technique that's going on in there, even though there's masses of technique with Glenn's playing, especially in that solo. And this is one of those performances where you can watch pretty much any genre of music and the people that are right at the top of the game have always got things in common common regardless of what the kind of music is so with Glenn you can see that his techniques are really top-notch and when you're playing hard rock or metal and heavier music I tend to kind of lean towards rock as you can probably tell from my hair uh, rock and hard rock and kind of 80s sound so many techniques cross over that alternate picking making sure that all your notes are clear and really concise that is all 
prevalent in hard rock and rock and metal as well and that crosses over to spanish guitar as well flamenco there's so many different styles that all share techniques i assure you that if you just plugged glenn into a jcm 2000 and just gave him an ibanez uh, he would sound great because of his technique he could shred away some of those lines and with a bit of overdrive and delay he could almost set himself in a hard rock band it'd have to grow his hair a bit but that is it the, the techniques all cross over and it's a mistake a lot of players make is that the first thing they do is go out and buy as many effects as they can and they'll have like 50 effects chained together on, the, on their pedal board and they won't have worked to the most important bit which is your playing your left hand and your right hand you've got to get them synchronized so that anything you play is concise and it just reminds me as a guitar teacher teacher myself of kids that come in and turn up the volume and the delay and the reverb and just strike the strings and they're just making a noise but they think it sounds really cool because of the sound coming out of the amp whereas take away all those effects and all you've got is just a massive mess if you can get everything you're playing to sound great clean anything else any effect is going to embellish the sound you don't want to have crutches of effects so that you need a certain effect to sound good if that's the way the plane's going you've got to go back to your techniques work on that synchronization make sure that you can get your lead to sound great on a clean tone Glenn here has got all these techniques down he's got a great appreciation of how to get his lead guitar sound but thank you so much for suggesting this video for me to take a look at let me know what you guys think in the comments below and keep those suggestions coming if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and i'll see you guys at the next one Ra